So you wanna learn how to schedule your Facebook live stream. Well, in 2020 and 2021, Facebook made some major changes to how you actually schedule your live stream. I am going to walk you through all of the details, everything you need to know, but here's the thing you need to know big time is that every single live stream now has two links that are separate links. So two posts per live stream, which is a major issue if you decide you want to promote in advance. It's a major issue for confusion for the audience. So we'll get into all of the details. I'll give you a demo. I'll show you what you need to know. And I will give you a trick for making sure you know how to promote ahead of time without confusion for your viewers. Let's do it. Okay, so as I said, this can be confusing. So I wanna walk you through what this actually looks like. So every time you schedule a Facebook live stream, you now wind up with two different posts in your feed. The first post is the scheduled live stream. This is the original scheduled post that gives people an alert saying, hey, this person, this page is planning to go live at this day and time. Do you wanna get a reminder for it? Then as soon as you go live, there is a second post created with a brand new link that is the live stream itself. Now, going back to the original post, post number one, that actually does connect to the live stream. It says, hey, this person is live, you can watch it here. But you'll notice how tiny that little watch button is, and most people do not see it. So they're confused on where to go or how to actually watch it. And so it leads to either people having to click more buttons or just abandon your live stream because they can't figure out where to go. And as we know, people don't do extra work. So we need as content creators to make it extremely simple for our viewers. And Facebook actually has not done us any good in this process. So we have to take it amongst ourselves in order to make it easier for our viewers. And that is what I will share with you at the end of this video with a promotion trick to make it a little easier. Now, to be fair to Facebook, I did speak to my contacts there and they think that this is a good thing. I personally disagree, but <laughs> their whole point of doing this two posts per live stream is to benefit you in their algorithm because you're getting a notification going out when you schedule a stream and then you're getting another notification out when you actually go live. And of course they are connecting those two posts. In my opinion, as we've already talked about, that is not good enough to avoid confusion and extra clicks because we know that every extra click that a viewer has to go through, you're going to lose the effectiveness and people just won't do it. So, um, but that is what Facebook is actually trying to accomplish is benefiting you. But again, we'll, <laughs> I'll just leave that there. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at how we actually schedule our stream. So on your Facebook page, you'll scroll down until you see the create post section, and then you'll click live. And once you click live, you're gonna be taken into Creator Studio. This is where you schedule, start, manage all of your live streams. This is your home, away from home, on Facebook for your management. So you have the go live now option, but really what you want is the schedule a live video option. So click that. So choose your date and your time and the page in which you're going to stream to. If you created it from the page, it's just automatically going to fill that out. And then we're going to do awesome title here. And then we're just going to do awesome description here, of course, make it interesting, and then select an image. I'm gonna choose the thumbnail Paul has created for this particular stream. Now, if you do not choose an image, it will use your header on your Facebook page as the default, and that doesn't actually look very good because those dimensions are different. So, uh, then you're going to schedule your live stream. now. 
trick here is that it needs to be further out than I've scheduled it. So here we go. Schedule a live stream. You need to schedule your stream um, within the next seven days. So you can't go further out than seven days and it can't be less than 10 minutes away. So it needs to be 10 minutes or further out from now and up to seven days from now. So there we go. All right, we're going to schedule this live video and bam, it has been scheduled. And now we will be able to access that from your software. Keep in mind, you cannot schedule a stream and connect to the scheduled stream unless you are using a third party software like Ecamm on Mac or vMix on a PC or any other live video software out there. You cannot go live from the Facebook browser and connect to a scheduled stream. You cannot go live from your mobile phone and connect to a scheduled stream. So keep that in mind. Okay, now let's take a look at what this scheduled stream actually looks like on Facebook. This is what your viewers will see. They see uh, Larry Petrucci, and, and in your case, it will be your page name, plans to go live with your awesome description that you put in, the awesome title that you put in at the time that you have scheduled it, and you will see this get reminder button. The viewer will be able to click get reminder. But let's have a little heart to heart. That does not mean that they will indeed get a notification. It is not a guarantee that they get that notification, which is why I have that promotion trick for you to take control out of the Facebook algorithm and put it into your own hands so that you make sure that people who want it get it. Okay, so now that we're live on this scheduled stream, you'll see that I have the live stream going. We're watching the Abby cam in her bed there, <laughs> and this is live. Okay, so you'll see that this is the link to that post. It ends in 4969. Let's go back to look at what it looks like with the scheduled post that was originally created from the reminder, the RSVP link. Now it looks like this. This video is live now. There is a watch live button here, but it's so tiny, people don't see it. And you'll notice that this link is a completely different link. It ends in 5559. So we've got 4969 and 5559, two different links. Okay, so let's talk about this promotion trick. So here's the deal. I, because of this scheduled stream mess, I actually stopped promoting Facebook mostly altogether. I started promoting YouTube in favor of uh, having a solid link that I didn't have to do a trick around. However, if you decide that Facebook is the only platform you care about, then you still need to be able to promote towards it, right? So all you need to do is create a short URL. Uh, you can use Bitly or any number of services out there. I prefer Rebrandly. And that is actually allowing you to create a short URL, lsp.tools slash promotion. And then I can promote to that link. And on the back end, once I actually have the live link, that second link, I can change that Rebrandly link, that short URL, to go to the live link. And then any promotion that somebody clicks bef that you've sent out beforehand, whether that's an email, social media, whatever, they will wind up on the right post if they're clicking on it once you're live or after you're live. Now, if you have a team uh, and a VA at least, then they can actually do that work for you so that you don't have to do that while you're live. But alternatively, if you are doing it all yourself, then that is one benefit of the countdown timer is to take care of admin details like this while you're live. So you, f you go live with the countdown timer, as we do, we make it a lot of fun. There are videos that we have around the countdown timer and the benefits of it and how to do it and all of that good stuff. But that is one of the benefits is that you, you have yourself some space so that you can actually 
change out links and promote it, but also so that the algorithm is giving you time to gather people into your stream. If you know somebody who's struggling with this whole Facebook Live scheduled post thing, definitely send them my way. And if you want to learn more about the pros and the cons and the algorithmic changes and all of the things that have to do with countdown timers, even how to create them, check out this playlist right here and I will see you over there.